again, what we know from, you know, general psychology is that you want to be good at being adaptable. The most, that's one of the core elements of resilience, like we teach in the training is that yes. adaptability is one of those four essential ingredients that, that we measure for resilience. Both and that's ability. more important to, to that cognitive flexibility and to be able to be okay with uncertainty, to be able to be comfortable in the uncomfortable, to be able to kind of go with the flow. Yeah. And, you know, I've which, always which said this with my private clients, you know, that yeah. I tend to get a lot of people that come for help. They're high achievers. They're very disciplined. They're overachievers. And they, if there is such a thing, but come, with that comes wanting a sense of control yeah. over everything. And so it's that old idea, like, let's control and create routine and structure and certainty where you can and also be okay accepting that the life is going to throw interesting challenges in there from time to time. And, that's, and you've got to be able to kind of go with it. And, that, and that's an interesting thing, Chris, that also reminds me, you know, our ability to adapt as human beings and to relax into something that is happening works for us to get us through some yeah. bad or negative situation and at the same time yeah. it can backfire on us mm. so one of the things that I have uh, observed in some people is that and they've said that you know if i don't start work within the next month i think i'm just going to not want to go back to work forever yeah and i've seen that in a lot of kids too yeah in which they're delighted to be in the coronavirus situations because yeah. they don't have to go to school. Yeah. So that's the, the ugly side of things. Yeah. Um, are we so comfortable in lockdown that we don't want it to finish? No, we're just... Uh, are we so yeah. comfortable in not having a job that we don't want that situation it, to finish? It's not sustainable. I want to keep... You, well, we know there's a part of us that we know yeah. that it's not sustainable. Yeah. And, but later on when we do go back is are we going to have to relearn new skills yeah and that's something to think about because yeah. i'm thinking about the, the kids that have mm. are not are barely used to going to school some of them yeah and we've interrupted their schooling yeah and then the older ones that probably didn't want to go to school to begin with and we've interrupted their schooling for a long time they haven't had to face mm. that mm. um the, the reintegration into into normality where they go to yeah, school, where they go back to work for grown-ups or, or even younger people when they go back to work, that that could be a challenge. Yeah. So workplaces need to be ready for that too, not just parents. Yeah. But parents, we need to be ready for that. The kids don't. And that's why the the, the idea yeah. of self-discipline. Not school, you know. I loved school. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you. <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. I did. And I reckon there'll be plenty of kids out there that are dying to go back to school, and they really want to get back to see their friends. I haven't met them though. Um, I have. <laughs> and you've met the ones that are dying to go back to school. I know some. No, okay. I know some. Yeah, but most of them are not wanting to go back to school. Um, I'm sure some of them are. I think everyone's the different. Are, the so ones that are, if they've already been a bit socially shy, for example, yes, that's you I'm get out saying. of the habit of doing it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not. It's not. They're not unsur None of this is an no, unsurmountable no. problem. No. Um, but it is something to have into consideration. Yeah. So when we're dealing with our yeah. kids every day, we try to get yeah. them to practice discipline yeah. somehow. Yeah. Uh, it could be but you can also reassure them that it's normal, like everything. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the one. principles in psychology uh, in critical incidents and and potentially traumatic situations is that, you know, this is whatever you're experiencing is a normal response to an abnormal situation. Oh, sure. Yeah, so, that's called normalizing. You know, we can, so it's important that parents, yeah. again, you have those conversations, you can normalize, you can say, look, wherever you're at, it's fine. But what do we do about it now? Yeah. What are we? So what you're feeling, yeah. what your your reactions are okay given the circumstances. Yeah. yeah. No, the circumstances are not normal, but given the circumstances, our reactions are normal, yeah. and that that's okay. That's a, a way to deal with it. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.